everyone we're playing some more pokemon today um we just finished most of the route 5 stuff i very quickly just healed and then also i should probably show you guys i put away a couple of pokemon i put away charmander just because i'll go ahead and evolve him later um but i went ahead and grabbed the caterpie so we can evolve that and i also grabbed the badoo and actually the badoo we're gonna go ahead and give um the where is it at the Charizard at X? Okay, that's pretty cool. Yo, where in the world is... Oh, the Poison Barb. Okay, I'm like, what in the world? I know I have it on here somewhere. This video is a uh, Poison Grass Pokemon, so hopefully that Poison Barb will help it as we slowly get it, you know, up. Um, connect to the internet. Nope. Um, Roserade is one of my favorite Pokemon, so it's a pretty high likelihood we'll be using it for a little bit of a long time but anyway um we kind of we caught everything here let's go up to see our friends and see kind of what they're up to my goodness pokemon hordes are certainly intense yeah they're just like a dance teammate of pokemon aren't they funny enough we started using them last episode hey tierno do you ever think about anything else besides dancing nope even during pokemon battles i'm always checking out their moves and then my feet just start moving too i can't help it you know like with sword dance i love it i guess that's why i can never win Hey, it's Big B. Do you know Pokemon? No, do you? Do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in battle. Okay, I guess we're battling them. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Tierno. Corefish? Why do you have a Corefish, dude? You're not a gardener. Put your Corefish away. Um. All right, let's go ahead and round kick it. Bonk. Easy. Alright, the rest of your team gained XP. Caterpie's gonna gain a couple right here, so just uh, bear with me here. That was some nice footwork. And we got that shmoney, thank you. Good to see you, David. Excuse me, I'm at Big D. It really does seem as though Tierno can only think about dancing moves. When Horda Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream after all. I was born to dance. I won't ever stop. Not with moves like this. Seems like he would like TikTok nowadays. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should show you just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. Oh, Big D. Take this honey, won't you? Taint honey. You see, using honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear. Though, if you're going to challenge a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets. I grabbed Combi for that, now I just have the honey. I kind of wasted my time a little bit, but that's fine. No! Okay, I was like, no, don't go back in the grass. I haven't been able to sleep very well for days. I don't know if I'm up for a battle. Okay, well, considering you Hamish. Oh, he's got a little Kadabra running. All right. That's a little exciting. You absolutely love to see it. Water pulse it. Bonk. I'm Bunnelby grew to level 15. Um, no, that's fine. I, I don't need. Again, Bunnelby, I'm not using him, so I don't. I don't really need his move set to be like good. Um, no, we don't need Whirlwind either. That's fine. Pidgey, once again, for like some time. I would love to use Pidgeot. But, um, I use them in Leaf Green. I'm not gonna use the same Pokemon again, you know. We do level 9, we do level 10. And he learns Spurt. Sure, sure, sure. I knew it. I really gotta get some sleep. Actually, maybe same. Okay. Woo, a little bit of lag. Nope, I will not be using the internet. Not right now. Um, what's over here? Okay, those are like fast, fast track lanes, right? I'm working on some synchronized tricks with my Pokemon, but we can't get our timing right. Let me practice against you. Alright, by Roller Skater, Winnie. He's got two Pokemon. Alright, let's go on Water Pulse it. I wonder when we get the good run. Alright, when he's about to send out Skiddo. Um, do I want to switch my Pokemon? Nope, I don't. 
Okay. So apparently... Uh, it's not gonna be for a little while. So... Fair enough, I guess. What, I didn't kill it? Is a Skittle that strong? I'm gonna quick attack it. In the face. Frogadier, level 24. Oh, we gotta go to a gym soon, because right now level 30 is our cap, so we gotta be a little careful here. Caterpie 7, and Caterpie, I'm pretty sure, is gonna evolve right here. Yeah. I knew he evolved at 7. I think he evolves to his third at 10, just like Weedle, so... Oh, okay. Go ahead, Caterpie. We're all waiting. It's your time to shine here. Metapod. Very cool. Yes. Learn Harden. The most important move in the game for sure. What is this way? Oh, these are purple flowers. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is still the same Pokemon. Um, yeah. Um, I just really wanted to check if there was an item in the little bushes here. Oh, nope. I like, totally forgot my button layout. Like, I love that when I've been using the same button layout for hours now and I just like randomly forget it. Alright, there is a Pokemon ball. That's what I was looking for. And honestly, I don't mind a couple extra encounters. I know they can be really annoying, but at the same time, I'm just gonna treat them as shiny checks, right? You know, maybe it's gonna be a shiny. You never know. I found an X attack. Very cool. See if we can find a shiny. Shiny paint shiny would be pretty sick, actually. And it's safe to say, if I ever find a shiny, uh, more than likely I'm probably gonna use it. Um, like I know, I mean, I, I guess this is pretty obvious, but whenever we can get to a route where we can find Starmie, I probably won't end up leaving that route until I get a shiny Starmie because I want to use a shiny Starmie the rest of the game. So, we're, I'm going to probably be there for like a couple days, like in real life a couple days, not for you guys. Um, because I will not be leaving until I get that shiny Starmie. Luckily, um, this game has uh, chain fishing, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take me a crazy long time. It should take me like a decent long time, but not a crazy long time. Now, I'm not going to actually do real shiny hunting until very late in the game when I can get the shiny charm. And, um, and get like a foreign Pokemon so I can do eggs with and stuff. Um, so basically, the only guarantee is we will get a shiny Starmie, and um, and then of course if we find any in the rand in the wild for random, we'll use those obviously. But yeah, you've been bonked, but you haven't been deadified, which is kind of sad. Put a quick attack it, so we don't have to deal with anything. Bonk. Very nice. Okay, Metapod level 8. Thanks, Tyson. For your money. Alright, let's, I guess, go back up to see what these guys are doing. The rules of Pokemon Battle are simple. Rule 1, you battle. Rule 2, you win. Florin and a Doduo. Doduo is pretty cool. Honestly, any Pokemon from Kanto, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's a cool Pokemon. Just because I'm that guy. You have been water post. Hi, right, Florin. Thanks for your money. Now, I want to jump on this thing. What did that do? Okay. I want to jump on this. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. Skirt. Ooh. Home claw. 
I don't know if that's any good, but thank you. What is Home Claw? Mm, okay. Cool. I'm surprised Metapod can't learn Infestation. That is very weird. Hello? You look like a seasoned traveler. I bet you're good at battling too. Just that, my guy? I mean, Centrics are pretty cool. I like Centrics. Level 16. Does Fletchling... Um... Does Fletchling evolve here? Badoo 12? You're just as good as I thought. No, apparently he doesn't. Okay. Hi, well, I don't know why I always wear shorts when I walk through tall grass. Why do you wear shorts when you go through tall grass? Uh, Kieta? Pansage. Okay. I wish you had a Panseer. That'd be- that'd make the fight much easier. No, I was a roundhouse. You in the face. With singing, apparently. I still don't understand what that move is, but fair enough, I guess. Alright, Metapod 9. Because they're comfy and easy to wear. The absolute classic line. Okay, that's a tree over there, which I cannot cut yet. So we are in Campfear Town. Hollow clip received. Thank you for using the Holocaster. The Sandre Labs developed the Holocaster to make the lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. We hope you'll continue to enjoy the fine services the product provides. Okay. Okay, um, alright, here we go. Let's, I guess, first things first. Go ahead and heal our stuff. Bonk, 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 bonk. I love how it shows them on the screen, too. That's pretty cool. We, I hope to see you again, too, Nurse Joy. Right, who we got? Hey there, I'll give you this, so tell all your friends to come to Camp Your Town, okay? Say less. Alright, what do we got down here? Alright, just the star piece? Isn't that just this item we could sell for a lot of monies? I like monies. Okay. We got, got to we go over there. Right, look, we have enough time in the episode. Let's just check out every building. Welcome to the hotel. Um, I'm, okay, so he does everything in here. Um, take this with you. A full heal. I will gladly take a full heal. Thank you, my friend. Let's swap chairs. Okay, well, I guess we have to see what's upstairs, right? It's like a law. I think it's, a, I think it's like a full law. Oh, nice bed. Oh, uh, nice bed again. I thought I saw an item over at the corner, but... Hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert of all powers. Let me ask you, just in case, do you... Um, no. Oh, you received an O power. Thank you. Alright, um... Thank you, Mr... Mr. Bond. Um... Uh, blah, 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 something about hot springs. Alright, I should probably have checked that plant for an item. Can I? Okay, I don't know if those hold items in them, but... Is that it? Alright, that whole thing was for Mr. Bond. Alright, then let's go see what's popping. It's about time again, huh? That lazy lug will be back. Ooh. Take this, thief. Oh. Thanks. Appreciate it. 
You can target. Okay, if we want. Uh, okay. Cool. Maybe. Can I? How's it going there? I'm Cassius. Check this out. I'm keeping the. No, seriously. Bill over in Kanto asked me to come here and run things for real. Enough with the introductions. Get out there. Catch some Pokemon and put them in the PC. Yo, you got something you want to ask me? Wow. This guy. Oh. This is the guy that runs the servers? Out of Camphir Town. Interesting. Dude, okay. Please. Welcome, welcome. Berry juice. Thanks for the berry juice, friend. I do love me some berry juice. Today, dragon types... Um... Okay, I do not have anything. So we have to bring him certain types of Pokemon and he'll give us stuff, so that's cool. Ooh, that's an Esper. Dude, this town is sick. They're giving me, like, so much stuff. I love it. Every single person I talk to, they're just giving me things. Hey, um, leave without... Okay, so I, I can't leave until I go to the castle. Fair enough. Hi, Big D. An acquaintance of yours. Two visitors to the Chateau Castle. I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle's chateau, if you will, was a manor house of the noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone. So that's why I feel so empty. That's it? Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it. What in the world is Mega Evolution? It's back again. It's that time of year already? Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time and look around. Alright, Route 7 is, seems like where we gotta go. Alright, but is there anything... ...to find in here? Alright, left side first, I guess. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter what side we go to. Alright, escape rope. Anything in the tr doesn't seem to be anything in here. Okay. Let's go down the other end. Yeah, doesn't seem like anything too exciting. Actually, wait, let me just make sure there isn't another dialogue. Alright, Route 7 is apparently where we're going. Alright, we are now on Route 7. Woo. Okay, so let me just quickly open it up. And there are, as expected, um, many Pokemon to find here. Um, annoyingly enough, one of them is Roserade. But that's okay, we'll keep raising our own Bidu. Okay, so wait. That's Route 7 above, 6 is that way? They said they were gonna go this way. Oh, six is that way. Seven's this way. Okay. Got it. Hey, mister. This way. This way. I know this is an unexpected request, but I need you to take care of my berry field. Berries are great. One berry can produce more berries. I assure you that you'll f love field work. Sure. Oh, great. Your name's David. Thank you, David. Hooray. I must teach you how to take care of the field right away. Please follow me. Plant a berry in the soft soil. Check the soil if you want to plant a berry in and choose the berry from your bag. Oh, I know. I should give you some berries to plant. Alright. Oh, I might as well give you these berries, too. If you find a berry in front of a huge tree, come here and plant it. Once you plant a berry, the next step is watering. Here, this is for you. A sprinkle a tad Check the soil where you planted the berry, and if it's dry, water it. Take good care of it, you'll get more berries. Well, David, take a good care of field. I'm so relieved my back has been killing me lately. I just can't garden like I used to. We live in a house at the corner of the field. Cool, so we're just gardeners now. 
there anything I could actually benefit from right now? Miracle Seed. I should probably stick that into the ground. Um, I don't even know if I can Wonder Trade. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Let's plant a berry over here. Whoa, too fast, too fast. Yes. Um, oh, we have a lot of berries, okay. Yes, I guess let's water it. All right, so funny enough, I should probably plant all of the berries, but I'm gonna just be 100. I just don't feel like taking the time to plant every single one of them. I've got a, I've got a life to live, so. The Snorlax, Big D, what is it? Can I catch it? Here we go again, and sleeping so loudly. The end of the world wouldn't wake it. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocked in the road. Come on, Nestor, use the poker flute. Wait, do you even have it anymore? Nope, I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. Huh? What's a poker flute? Basically, the polka flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax, but the polka flute is currently a Parfum Palace. Oh, that's it? All we need to do is go get it then. Come on, Big D, let's go. The Parfum Palace is past Route 6, and maybe at a place like that we might learn something about Mega Evolution. Alright. Do a little skirt. And... Wait a minute. But I want to catch stuff. Will it not let us catch... Oh, there are no fields in Route 7. Okay. Well, then it looks like we first need to look at Route 6. Oh, and Route 6 has some pretty cool Pokemon. Alright, um, can we go just... Okay, we can just go to the tall grass. Um, this lane actually has two different faces. One is... The easy stroll. Now there as well. I guess you'll find out about that on your way. Okay. These are all battles. Oh. So we can go the battler route or the Pokemon route. Challenged by a tourist Harika. Well, we'll do both. I do have to fight these people because I do have to, you know, get the shmoney. Um, so we'll do a little bit of both. But this person has three Pokemon, so... Pika, indeed. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Pikachu, I'm with you. A lot of battles. We'll just keep hitting them. We'll keep hitting them. Oh, no, actually, I do not want to switch out for other Yes, water pulse it. I don't think it will kill it. Scratch. Oh, I should probably just use a quick attack instead, but... Oh, his head, yeah, his head hurts. Alright, Vinyl B, level 16. Pidgey 18, Metapod 10. He's definitely gonna evolve here. Um, yes. Let's get rid of growth. And Mega Drain's a pretty good move, so... 880? I'll take that. Free 800. Ah, here's goes. Well, actually, I have two evolutions. We'll have Pidgey and Meta Metapod, actually. Also, I'm just, I'm just taking a look at Reddit while we're chilling. All right, we got ourselves a Pidgeotto. Very nice. And we also have ourselves um a Butterfree, which is also very, very cool.
Butterfree. Very cool. And we should probably swap it out for something, but I don't know if I should I don't know if I want to go back right now. Um hmm. We'll, we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and take on this trainer here still. Why do I travel? Why do I battle? Allow me to demonstrate. Alright, tourist Erico. There's that battle. So, in the tall grass of this area, we can find some really cool Pokemon that, like, Oddish, Sentra, Esper, Honedge, Ninkata, Kecleon? These are some pretty radical Pokemon. Ooh, I didn't mean to go in. Alright, Parfum Palace. We'll probably check that out next episode. But first, we do have to catch a few Pokemon. Um... Will you not let me? Let me go through your tall grass, bud. Do I have to walk through it? Why won't you let me through your tall grass? I'm so confused on why you won't let me walk through your grass. I want to go to your grass. Oh, okay, so apparently I need to go to, like, over here. That's so weird. Ooh, there's some... Okay, I'll fight those people probably next episode. Let's just try to find a few Pokemon, and we'll probably call it a day here. Alright, Oddish. That is one of the new ones. Let's go ahead and give it a little quick attack and hopefully not kill it. Okay, good. Sweet scent. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. Bonk. Yeah, there are some really cool Pokemon in here. Specifically, that Hone Edge is really, really cool. Alright, there's the Oddish. During the day, it stays in the cold underground to avoid the sun. It grows by bathing in moonlight. Alright, let's catch another one or two, and then we'll... Ooh, Fletchling is evolving. We'll probably, yeah, try to catch one or two, and we'll probably be good for today's episode. I also gotta go to my fiance's house, so... Yes. I'm having a lot of fun playing Pokemon X, though. It's, um, surprisingly fun. Again, you guys know I'm a Gen 1 or so. It's fun, I like it. Alright, we got ourselves a uh, Fletchinder. Very cool. Um, yes, I do wanna. Let's go ahead and get rid of Growl. One, two, three. Bang, Growl is gone. Thank you. Alright, let's maybe try to catch. 
Maybe one of the rare ones. Maybe not an Oddish. Ah, you dumb Oddish. Get out of here, man. Alright, come on. Let's do... No, we probably do at least two more. There we go, a Sentry. We can do that. Very good. Fight. Let's go ahead and do a little quick attack, a little bonk. Oh, you what? Why did it die? Bro, we're not that strong. Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. We ain't that strong. Game, why do you do this to me? I guess I kind of did it to myself when I hit the sun trip, but... Come on. An Esper? That's pretty cool. Um... Don't kill it, please? Okay. Confusion, that's fine. I'm throwing Pokeballs. I don't care if I'm confused. Let's throw a... Just a normal Pokeball, actually. Yeah. The Great Bulls are still a little above my pay grade, just currently. Plus, I just got... Oh, you stupid. I've got so many to catch. I, like, you know, I can't afford... I mean, it also, I guess, depends. You know, if I'm throwing more than three Pokeballs, it might have been better to just do a Great Ball. But at that point, what if it escapes out of the Great Ball? Every Great Ball is technically three Pokeballs. So, like, you know... Economically speaking... You know, it all depends on chance. Alright, cool. We got ourselves an Esper. Let's maybe try to go for one more Pokemon, and then we'll probably end off the episode here. Bidoo to Fort... Does, B Does Bidoo evolve here? The organ that emits its intense psychic power is sheltered by its ears to keep the power from leaking out. I have a suspicion that... Okay. For some reason, I thought Badu. Is it by Leaf Stone? Alright, here's the Sentry. In the next episode, we'll catch the other three. Let's go ahead and just try to throw a Great Ball at it and call it a day here. Is it worth three Pokeballs here? Thank you. Alright, not a waste of a ball. Alright guys, Butterfree to level 11. When acting as a lookout, it warns others of danger by screeching and hitting the ground with its tail. Let's go ahead and uh, do up a quick save and we're gonna call it here guys. Um, so thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next episode.